Not him blushing. Get it together, purse. Come on. Get off your knees, bro. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, AKA GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to The Legend of Vox Machina. We are now on season three, episode three, which is called Vexations. And I have no doubt that is pretty Probably a play on one of our characters. Anyways, in the last episode, we had the team try to get their hands on the second vestige. It did not go well, and it ended with them getting captured. Percy getting captured by Ripley while the rest of the group was arrested. Thankfully, Percy did manage to escape. Uh, well, actually, Vox Maxina helped him escape, but then it got them arrested. And then during that time, Percy sacrificed himself or tried to sacrifice himself to save the group. But thankfully, because of the, yeah, sorry, Scanlan's vestige, they were able to prove their innocence. But through that, they also discovered that the uh, true vestige is actually in the Hades at the moment. They got to go to the doorstep of the devil himself to go and find that vestige because they did not want it to be someplace that Thordak could easily get to. But unfortunately, <laughs> I just thought about it. It's gonna be easy for Ripley because she's literally got a demon monkey on her back. So anyways, Vox Machina now has a mission to go to hell and find a certain demon in order to get their hands on this vestige. Let's hope Ripley does not figure out that it's a fake before they get it, but we'll have to see. So I'm ready to jump into this new adventure. Let's do that. But just before I do, a reminder that if you'd like to be a note of when I drop these episodes, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All right, that out of the way. Let's get into episode three. Right now. You need a bloodhound for this, not a bulldog. Why so insistent? Are you withholding something? That stone in your chest makes you paranoid. Maybe the thing right there. You mock my power! Yes. You must find them first. I'll give you two days. That's it? Leave me to my family. Damn. Homie said, leave me to my children, who are probably gonna be born hating you. The corpses of our enemies shall be your cradles. What enemies? And their eternal agony, your milk. Okay, but I'm just, call me crazy, but I'm like, what, what, is that what a dragon's, I mean, I don't know what dragons eat or what they do or whatever, but like if everybody's dead and everything's just a big swarming vat of lava, is that something sustainable for like ever? Like, I mean, I'm not familiar, but I feel like, I just feel like that's not good for them either. Call me cuckoo. These nesting habits aside, the plate of the dawn martyr is right? apparently in hell. Poor Vax is like, can you not flirt right in front of me with my sister? Ew. Dola, no way. That bitch wanted me dead. Uh, oh, don't be ago. dramatic. It's been years. See? Water under the bridge. The hot gosh. Spill it, girl. <laughs> Our former... I don't love leaving Whitestone unprotected. Don't look on the bright side, darling. Fewer birds in the snow. There's probably worse things to crap on you. But I've been running this city for quite some time I was about now. to say, I think your sister's been keeping it, keeping it pretty real. Everything all right? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, we were just discussing... Cutting down um, the sentry? Well, if you want to update me on the, um, canoe situation. Not him blushing. Get it together, uh, Purse! Come on! Get off your knees, bro! Smitten. Yep. So what if I am? When one invites you to her room, you go. <gasps> Damn. Don't kill him on the way. Ours can be problematic and... Bro, please, oh, just less talking. Yes. I've developed a sort of affection mm -mm. for... Now oh, fuck it. I mean, if you play your cards right. <laughs> I was hoping... Huh? Of course. Would you like to talk before? Or after. Right, drop the damn glasses. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I have elf hearing. I'm gonna leave. Oh, um, yeah, come in. I was oh, just... you're both so clothed. Yeah. Boring. Sit. If sure, that's sit, it. yeah. On the bed, hey? Hmm. Nowhere else to sit, huh? Interesting. Listen, I... Kind of had a vision of all this dying. Together. Oh, damn. We made so much progress and then we lost it. This could be trouble. I... Shush, Percy, really, just shush. I know, but it can't work, you and I. We're only allowed to have one couple per season. I just can't bear the idea of putting you through that. As a team, we take risks all the time. We're going to goddamn hell for a piece of armor, but... I mean, you put it in perspective. 
You won't risk anything for me. Maybe you should leave. If you had seen what I have... Just get out! She said what she said. <sighs> well, at least somebody's had nights going better. So why does she get... To, is it because of the Aramente she becomes immortal? Like, I thought all elves would... Okay. <sighs> why does Percy look scandalized? No matter how bad you messed up with Kaylee, I'm here. Don't say something stupid. Whoa, not what I meant. Okay, maybe maybe you should have said something stupid. Pike, I'm sorry. Interesting. Because last season it felt like she was kind of going that direction, but that is quite a big leap. Uh, ah! you? Just, uh, <laughs> She's grown. She's grown. So, so draconia. draconia. Yeah, we're, ta we're not talking about it. Exactly. We're moving on. Oh, yikes, Jared. Hey, Wake up on the wrong side of the sword? Oh. You have two days, not a minute more. She's, she's not lying. I like it. Ooh, looks frigid. I don't like it anymore. Your friend. <laughs> don't let her hear you call her that. Is that bad? She'll meet us up ahead. Buckle the fuck up. Okay, noted. Exactly. We'll just go through. Just go with it and keep it, keep it zipped. How are you fair? Confused at how little you've changed. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's a bit of a trek. Try not to fall behind. <laughs> how far could it be? Um. Oh God. Yeah. I'm not afraid of heights, but I I don't think I'm doing that staircase. Don't touch me. I have to be. It's well hidden. And if anyone found it, eternal hellfire is a pretty strong deterrent. I feel like Ripley's right there. Like right there. She's got a demon. Like literally the ultimate pass into hell. We'll reopen it in exactly 12 hours. 12? But I ain't got enough fingers. Anybody got 12 fingers? It's okay. We got it under control, bro. Oh, it feels toasty. Hurry before it closes. Right? You're sitting there looking at let's, let's go. Although it sounds horrible to say go rush into hell. Oh shit. Nothing well, holy down here. This the capital of hell. This a rock. Mm. What are you on about? Yeah. Evil of our world. Sent here for punishment. Now how the devil do we break in? Ah, I see what you did there. It was always clear that you two were destined for each other. So you weren't, like, butthurt? In all these years, I haven't given it a single thought. Damn. Now is that going to bother you even more? <laughs> yes, last night was fun. And? And I think I'll fix some tea. Oh, awkward. Shouldn't we talk about what that was? What Sex. we are? If you need a label, call it a tryst. Oh. <sighs> Where we were. Over here! We need to find cover! Quickly. Oregon will gladly hunt you down. How did they find you? <sighs> we're safe here. No, you're not. It's a dragon. Can't hide forever. I mean, some of us are immortal, so yeah, actually we can. I'm checking on the others. Something you should be doing. See? They're fine. Mm. Mm, guess we're not quite over it. We need to be back to reopen it for our friends. As if you care. Forgive me, but you have a history of leaving allies in the dust. Shut up now. Girls really don't be like it. Go. We be petty, I'm sorry. A Draconia never abandoned me. If you want to be part I of a thruple, just ask. Abandon them. Just ask. And after I turn you over, they've promised me the power you stole. Traitor! Hell hath no fury. This level's quarrel. Like, literally, just ask to be part of the thruple. I hope he kills you first, so Kima can watch you die. You bitch. Perhaps we can table this discussion? By the way, he's gonna kill you too, because he don't care about you. I told you, I knew those bridges weren't gonna last. I mean... I
Wasn't this whole thing for those girls' big edging session? Come on, you overgrown idiot! You should have finished them by now! What are you waiting for? Who are you talking to? I want to see blood! Who are you talking to? Exactly. No, no. Dola. No. That's what happens, baby. The road to vengeance is often one where you gonna end up in the grave next to him. Good. I'll go find your friend. Poor Kima. Wow, those glasses are a real MVP. We both know there's something between us. Maybe, but I'm not ready to say what you want to hear. Damn. She's trying to say the D wasn't that good, bro. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone's gonna care about you. Which is why we can't be more than just a fling. Is that all right? <sighs> You're lying, but... As you like. If that's what it takes, I guess. Right now, our friends are trying to find a vestige in the worst place imaginable. And y'all have to figure out a way back. All that magic you can't, like, just teleport? What are you good for? Because I know their hearts. Oop, the light can't find its way down there. It's going to be all right. And if it isn't... You gotta keep going. Then nothing matters. Oh, damn. Okay. Damn, you gotta end it just as we get to this? Come on. That's when the good stuff was about to happen. Ooh, all right. We are in the thick of it in episode three, guys. Man, betrayal. Like I said, hell hath no fury that a female dragon scorned. Mm, it don't matter. <laughs> a little warning, people. Women, we, um, that's one thing I'll have to say about us. We do be holding grudges unlike anybody else. Like, if there's a grudge Olympics, it would be 99% women because, yeah, we don't forget ish. We don't forget it easily. And, uh, yeah, that is a love triangle that went badly, clearly. They should have known when she was so friendly that there was a problem, because, nah. I understand her maybe not being like, let's fight, but no snark, no attitude, nothing. And then you especially haven't talked in like God knows how many years. Mm, you should have known something was up. Both you girls were a little bit too optimistic. <laughs> but anyway, main highlights of this episode. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll talk about the little things first. Poor Percy. <laughs> Percy is in love, okay? He is in love. That might be the first woman he's ever been. Actually, it probably is the first woman he's ever been with now that I think about it because he spent most of his younger years just getting revenge. So yeah, first love, first time most likely. Um, and um, didn't work out the way he thought. He thought that him and Vex were gonna, you know, kind of live happily ever after. But Vex has got her issues, much like Vax. Both of those twins we've seen since episode, or so since season one, that they both have some trauma. They both have some emotional issues that they're still working through when it comes to connecting with others. And um, yeah, they pretty much only trust each other fully even now. And so, yeah, Vex, it's not that she doesn't, I, I mean, I think we can safely say she loves Scanlan, but she's terrified of losing him. And so she's kind of keeping him at a distance. And it's interesting that both the twins are doing the same thing as far as pushing the people that they love away at the moment. But the way they're handling things is very interesting because we see Vex just, you know, threw herself into a physical relationship with Percy immediately. Whereas Vax, you know, one kiss and he was like, ooh, that's as far as I need to go because I don't want to risk falling even deeper or having you fall in, or, you know, you meaning Kaylee you, any deeper. So, or Keyleth, I should say. I keep calling her Kaylee. I'm so sorry. But anyways, so... Yeah, interesting that both of them, this is an issue that they've been talking about and dealing with since season one. They very much do struggle with trusting others for understandable reasons. But, you know, in the case of Vex and, with the case of Vex and Percy, I think Percy will have to be patient with her. I think he's somewhat picked up at this point that there's trust issues there. But yeah, she's saying a fling. It's clearly not a fling, right? It's clearly not. She almost lost her mind when she thought Percy died. And we know Percy drops everything for her. So like, yeah, they, they are locked in. But if she don't want to label it and all, that kind of stuff right now then so be it like if, if it, that's if, if the patience of just being there while she goes through it that might be enough but I do hope that you know she recognizes that maybe Percy may not be okay with that forever but at this point they're kind of living day to day so it's enough for now but on the Vax side or sorry the yeah on the Vax slash um Keyless side of things, I kind of get where she's coming from. You know, his vision, I didn't realize that that his vision, I thought maybe something bad happened that he foresaw, but it turns out that it's because apparently when she's done her Aramante, she gets immortality, I guess the sounds of things. So she's gonna outlive Vox Machina is basically it. So I guess he saw a vision of the future where everyone is past because they, you know, grew old and died or 
who knows what else. And she's sad and mourning them. And so as a result, he's just like, yeah, well, it's going to be harder for you if we're together. But again, that's, that's on him, right? That's again, his protection mechanism, much like his sister. He's more just scared to really let himself go all the way there. But I love how Keyleth said, you think that pain of tomorrow is not worth joy today. Like that doesn't make any sense. And that's just the truth of love, guys. You know, love is a vulnerable thing. And the reality is that when you love, you have to open yourself up to being hurt and that person will be able to hurt you and probably will, hopefully mostly unintentionally, but you could get your heart broken. It does happen and it's not fun, but I don't think anyone who's genuinely been in love, most people I've met anyways, have never said that they regret loving someone or regret the good times. It's just that sometimes it's a side effect. So anyways, um, I understand Keyleth's upset with Vax. She's saying that, you know, you are scared and you're not willing to risk. Like she's saying, I'm willing to risk my heart for you, but you're not willing to open your heart for me. And so he thinks he's protecting her, but that's what he's telling himself. But the reality is he's protecting himself. He's scared of caring about her to the point where losing her is going to hurt him a lot. So anyway, interesting that the twins are both going through the same thing, just in different fonts. And then we see that uh, half the group is on their way to Hades. Oh, actually, did we talk about, there was a little bit between Pike and Scanlan, but not much to say there. We see that, you know, Pike is still very much upset over this whole situation with his daughter, which is very understandable. And Pike kind of gave him a bit of comfort, but then, you know, he, Pike made a move. <laughs> Not Pike, uh, Scanlan. Scanlan made a move and Pike kind of freaked out. But, you know, she said she didn't mean it like that. I don't believe her. I do think she has feelings for Scanlan, but I don't blame her for also wanting to not jump there right away. Scanlan, he does not have a reputation of being a faithful man. You know, <laughs> he's a lover for sure but not necessarily a faithful man. So I don't think this is the right time for him to jump into anything either because he's still dealing with a lot. So anyways, it was kind of an awkward moment. And so things between them are now a bit awkward, but you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see if anything happens. We can't have too many romances taking off at once here. Like this is not a romance, guys. This is about D&D. &D. Let's, let's keep it real. <laughs> But anyways, um, so that was pretty much it for the relationship dynamics between the team. And then yes, we headed off to Draconia and we saw that there's the thruple drama, which unfortunately negatively, negatively affected our people, but we see that they got split up, right? Which I believe, but that's the part I'm a little bit confused about, right? Um, if the, the girl, I can't remember her name now, if the, the ex, the jilted ex wanted revenge then why would she allow them to, unless she just, I guess she just figured if half of Vox Machina goes in there, they're not gonna make it out, right? Cause no one's coming back to open the door. Okay, cause I was like, why would she let them split up? Like, wouldn't she wanna keep them or figure out a way to keep them, you know, at the door of the of hell until the dragon showed up, right? Like anyway, but that explains how we got there, right? Cause I was also wondering like, how did the dragon know they were there? Like that's such a random place to go, but clearly she gave him the signal to come cause she knew they were they contacted her. And she made her deal with the devil a while ago. So, I mean, and honestly, she was dumb because there was no way. Like for her to think that Thordak's gonna honor that ar arrangement and not burn all of Draconia to the ground is crazy. But anyway, so yeah, it turned out to be a big fat trap and half of Vox Machina is not half really, but some of Vox Machina are now in hell while the other two, yes, only two members are outside along with um, the two mages. And it looks like Kima fell over. I think she's alive as well, but you know, is she okay? Where is she? What's going on? But I'm glad that the traitor got taken out. Cause you know, like I said, I've said this many times, maybe not on this particular reaction show, but other things that I've reacted to, I've said the thing about revenge, you gotta dig two graves, one for whoever you're going after and the other one for yourself. It's a slippery slope. It's a bad road. And even if you don't die literally, figuratively, you usually destroy everything that you are in order to get that revenge. And so, yeah, with that girl, she thought she was getting her one up and then she got a little cocky. I'm like, I don't know who she thinks she's talking to. Is she forgetting us a whole dragon? She thought this dragon was what, her, her pet? Her attack dog? I'm sorry, I didn't even like that dragon and I was with the dragon. Like, who are you calling stupid? Like, what, excuse me? Is this, what? <laughs> you know, like, are you forgetting here? So yeah, she's out. That's what she gets. And all she really needed to do was ask for an apology and she probably would have gotten it. You know, if all you wanted was a seat on the council and an apology, sis. You gotta ask for that. In fact, you probably could have been part of a throuple. <laughs> you just threw away opportunity after opportunity. So that's on you. But yeah, so now the situation is such that they're trapped in a cave, Percy and Vax, sorry, Vex and the, I can't remember the name of the other mage, I'm sorry. The three of them are trapped in a cage, Kima's at large, and the rest of Vox Machina are in hell on their way trying to make it into Dees. So, and they've got God knows what, maybe 10 hours before they need to go and reopen the gate. Otherwise, I guess they're trapped down there forever. 
So, and I'm still not 100% sure that, or maybe I was going to say I was 100% sure that Ripley didn't follow them, but my guess is she wouldn't go into hell. I'm guessing she would wait. She probably would wait on the outside for them to get the vestige and come out and then try to take it from them. But yeah, we'll have to see. I don't think that Ripley's completely out of the picture. By now, I feel like she's figured out she's got a fake. So following Vax, Vox Machina is the easiest way to get to it because she knows they're after them too. So so yeah, this was another good episode. These first three batch are great. They've whet the appetite. I mean, I'm always 50-50 when they release the episodes like this because I'm like, in the one hand, I like having so much to watch, but then I'm like, oh, then it makes the season go by what feels like way too fast. But anyway, I am very much looking forward to the next episode because they've definitely got my interest peaked and my anticipation high. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I'll see you in the next one.